Every experienced lucid dreamer knows eventually you will come across someone or something in your lucid dreams that tries to fight you. For some reason, it always happens. And even if you don't care about lucid dreaming, you know, and you've never had a lucid dream or don't know what it is, this dream fighting stuff sounds like retarded, but it's still kind of useful to know because the same rules that govern lucid dream fights apply to normal dreams as well, right? And the most important thing you need to remember when fighting in a lucid dream or a normal dream when you don't know you're dreaming. The most important like tip I have is that you just need to remember that your dreams are based on your very deep expectations in your brain. And what I mean by that is if you, I always say this, if you run into a nightmare or someone's trying to fight you, someone's trying to fuck you up in a dream, you need to remember that if you run from that person, they're probably going to catch up to you. Or if you like fight defensively like a bitch and you kind of know you're going to lose the fight in this dream or lose a dream or whatever, you're probably fucked up. Because by, by, like, by running from something scary in a dream, you're just sending the signal to your brain that that thing's scary, and so your dream immediately changes to match your expectation. That That's why if you're in a nightmare and you run from something, it's probably always like going to catch up to you. I always talk about that shit. So that's the number one tip is if you're in a lucid dream or a normal dream, or like you just realize that you're dreaming, um, and you don't want to fight, there's someone trying to like fuck you up and you don't want an altercation with them, the most important thing to do would be completely ignore them. If you're not interested in fighting them, completely turn your back on them or trick your brain into altering like your expectations so your dream thinks that that thing is not scary. And why I say turn your back on someone trying to fight you in a dream is because a dream's like an illusion, right? When you turn your back on something in a dream, that thing's not there. It's like it ceases to exist. And the opposite is also true. I, hopefully this makes sense. The opposite is also true. In a dream, the more attention you put on something, generally the more detailed that thing will get. That's why, you know, when you hear about people, or maybe this has happened to you, when you hear about people talking about uh, like a dream they had where their teeth were falling out or some shit. That's because like if you look in a mirror in a dream and you see your tooth fall out or some weird fucking thing and you're focusing on your teeth falling out, uh, more and more teeth will just keep fucking coming out, bro. Because the more you focus on something in a dream, right, the more like detail it fucking generates. So the opposite is true where if someone's fighting you or attacking you and you don't want to deal with them, um literally turn your back on them and ignore them and at, like at, at the time that will seem kind of counterproductive or hard to do but like trust me that actually works because I remember there was this one time where I was in a dream and I just suddenly realized I was dreaming and for some reason there was a fucking like a monkey like some rabid monkey that had very sharp teeth biting me and trying to fuck me up like it was really bad um but I tricked my brain into thinking that monkey didn't exist by just walking and ignoring it. And like, it was jumping and biting at my fucking leg, bro. But like, I just walked like nothing was up and then the monkey soon disappeared. So that's the number one rule for fighting in a dream. <laughs> or if you realize you're in a dream and you don't want to fight, ignore the thing or trick your brain into thinking it's not a threat. And I always say... Like, if there's a monster, I just start fucking it. <laughs> like, I th like, what better way to trick your brain into thinking something's not scary? Like, just, just start making out with a monster, bro. <laughs> but, like, it, um, if you, if you want to fight things in a lucid dream or a normal dream and you get into a situation where you're, like, in some fucking 1v1 or some shit or 1v10 in a dream, uh, the same thing about expectations also applies. Um, and a good example of this, I'll just give an example so it makes more sense, is that when I get, when, for some reason in dreams, I well, I know why, in my dreams, I'm really good at sword fighting, like fighting with a sword like a fucking knight, I'm just really good at that, I don't sword fight in real life, it doesn't matter if it's a lucid dream or a completely normal dream that I think I'm in reality in, it doesn't matter if it's like 10 people, 
um, and it's just me, I'm fucking those guys up if I have a sword, bro. And the reason I'm so good at sword fighting in my dreams and lucid dreams, and I've never won, I've never lost a fucking sword fight in my dreams ever. Not once. I am like the goat of dream sword fighting, bro. And the reason I've never lost a dream sword fight despite not knowing how to fight with swords in the real world is because ever since I've been a kid, um, whenever I like daydream about like nights, you know how you daydream yourself in like a fantasy world or like some cool sh like world from a fucking movie you've seen or something like that. Uh, I've always done that since I was a kid and I always imagine I'm really good at sword fighting when I imagine myself as like a knight or something or when I was a kid and I like daydreamed about sword fights I was always the best main character the best sword fighter so it just turns out that even when I'm in a normal dream that I think is real I'm still very fucking good at sword fighting because my brain just has this idea in my head that I'm good at sword fighting. So you can use that to your advantage as well. And I was going to mention the, the, the other thing is, um, guns. I'm really like generally in dreams, lucid dreams and normal dreams. I'm just shit with anything to do with guns. I either can't find enough ammo or the gun doesn't have a trigger or like the gun's just fucked up. I can't do guns. And the reason for that is I, I, I don't know definitely, but I would theorize that it's because I'm in Australia. I've never touched a fucking gun in my life. I really don't know shit about guns. Like, I've seen, obviously seen guns in movies, but if I start thinking about a gun now, it even starts, like, confusing me, and, like, I'm just like, how the fuck does that even work? You know what I mean? Which is probably why I'm really shit with guns in my dreams. So you can use that to your advantage, where, if, for, like, for example, if I wanted to be good at gunfighting in my dreams, say I was having gunfight dreams every night, and I was getting mad that I was shit at shooting guns and like I never had enough ammo or the trigger wasn't there. I would go and like watch some videos of guns, gun shooting or gunfights. I would daydream about myself being really good at shooting guns. And then over time, it's like building up this schema, this mental schema in my head. And then if I end up in a gunfight in my dreams, my brain's going to be like, nah, I'm really good at shooting guns. I know shit about guns. <laughs> it's going to be the same as the sword fighting. You know what I mean? So that, that can be very useful to use. If you like are already good at shooting guns or you have this idea in your head about how you're such a good like shooter, you're going to be good at shooting guns probably in your fucking dreams. Of course, of course you can use like other powers as well, like superpowers and shit. You know, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be real. I actually haven't had, I've said this before, I haven't had many fights in dreams. And when I do have a lucid dream fight or a normal dream fight, I much prefer to use like swords or like my bare fists and like fuck people up. But I know a lot of people will like to use like superpowers and shit like that, right? And that's kind of similar with the sword fighting and gun thing. If you have an image, if you have this idea in your head that like you're really good at shooting fireballs and doing magic and killing motherfuckers, maybe it's like you play a lot of video games with magic and shit. That means you're probably going to be better at doing magic in looser dreams and normal dreams when you're getting into a fight. I Honestly, I hope this shit makes sense. Uh, like, as always, I'm just kind of yapping about the weirdest shit ever, like dream fighting. Um, but yeah, just, just keep that in mind that if you're having trouble, if you're having trouble with fights in your dreams and you like keep getting fucked up, <laughs> like you keep getting beat up in your dreams. It's just a problem with some schema in your mind and you need to fix that by imagining you're like the G and you're top shit and you're like really, really good at fighting. You know what I mean? Um, what else? Oh, as well with superpowers, um, since your dreams are based on expectations a lot, what's really useful if you're in a fight 
and you you're maybe like doing some magic or you're doing some superpowers but you still kind of realize that you're getting fucked up and your opponent in the dream is like beating you up or whatever what's useful is to literally act like a two-year-old and like play pretend and pretend you're winning the fucking fight like literally the, the phrase like fake it till you make it actually works in dreams because it's all in your head and it's all just the whole dream is built around your like deep subconscious expectations about how things work so if you find you're fighting someone in a dream and you're losing that shit your opponent is like a uh, fucking dominating you or whatever then literally just pretend you are winning like like just just fucking pretend the other person's dying pretend you're shooting magic at them and you're fucking them up uh literally fake it till you make it and you'll soon realize the tides of battle are fucking turning bro because that's that's it's really simple that's like how simple it is i should mention as well because this is related killing dream characters um, killing people in your dreams, obviously, if you get into a lot of fights in your lucid dreams or, no, or like, just normal dreams, um, you're probably gonna end up killing a motherfucker, <laughs> like, like, in your head, right, in your, in your head, um, in that situation, I actually don't see anything bad with it, I know on the internet, if you search anything up about dreams or lucid dreams, you'll see a bunch of retards going, on about how like you shouldn't kill dream characters because they're a part of your brain in my opinion it's the equivalent to killing someone in a daydream right that i just think it's the same as that because if you really wanted to you could just create like a million people in a lucid dream that doesn't necessarily mean they're all parts of your brain that you're going to kill off you know what i mean um what else? Oh, that that reminds me though, if you're gonna kill someone in your dreams, you, you should be warned, like, that shit can be very real, and that's another, that's a reason why you maybe wouldn't want to kill someone, depending on who you are, uh, in your dreams, once again, we're talking about dreams here, bro, we're talking about dreams, not real life, um, just like, I, I remember like a couple months ago, it was a normal dream, I didn't know, I wasn't, it wasn't a lucid dream or anything, um, and it was like, in some apocalypse and some dude was attacking me and trying to take my fucking loot and then i i drove a screwdriver like through that motherfucker's head and it was so realistic that it, i saw like all the gore and it made me sick i i literally woke up and felt sick when i woke up because i saw a screwdriver through this motherfucker's head that I just killed. So that that's a warning. If you're getting in dream fights um, on purpose or if you're lucid dreaming and you know it's in your head, still be careful um, if the dream's very vivid and realistic because, yeah, you may... Uh, it's not always a pretty sight. <laughs> it's not always a pretty sight seeing some motherfucker uh, dead. Um, that brings me to my next point which is what you're coming in contact with before you go to bed is really going to affect your dreams a lot of the times. Like, if you're looking at some really, like, weird, messed up, violent shit that may make its way into your dreams, and it, also, if you want to have dreams where you're fighting, if your dreams are really boring, but you want to have dreams where you're having mad fights and mad 1v1s, then... It would be a good idea to like watch movies and watch video clips, TV shows where there's lots of fighting and lots of action and that's going to influence your dreams like 80% of the time. What I was going to mention was that the other day I was having a conversation with someone about gore, you know, like... You know, like, gore websites where they show mother... Like, Mexican cartel videos, bro. Like, Mexican cartel videos. You know those weird gore websites, bestgore.com. Um, don't, don't search up that shit. But I just remember, like... Uh, cause like I was retarded and I was 15 years old once. Okay. I watch, I used to watch gore. I don't anymore. And I was just having a conversation with someone about it the other day. And because I was talking about it, that shit made its way into my dreams and then I had the most horrific fucking nightmare that I don't even want to talk about, okay? It was so, so 
fucking bad. Uh, if, if you could like record dreams, that shit would get me like a hundred life sentences. My point is, be very careful with what you're coming in contact with before you go to bed. It, like, if you need to have interesting dreams where there's a bunch of fighting going on, um, read or watch some like fun fighting scene. Don't, please do not watch gore, okay? <laughs> Just, just don't watch that. But yeah, I, I don't know if that, like, I don't know if that just sounds retarded or, like, schizo as fuck, but I was like, you know what? I should just, I should just tell you all about dream fighting, bro, because that shit's kind of cool. But, like, honestly, f dream fighting in dreams, in lucid dreams, never been, like, a big thing for me. A lot of the times I do get fucked up in normal dreams, except if it's a sword fight, I'm winning that shit every time. But I don't know. Let me know your experiences with fighting in a dream. It doesn't have to be a lucid dream. I'm curious. Do you always win a dream fight or, or do you like get fucked up all the time? I'm, I'm curious to like know your experiences, but just like the video, leave me a mean comment. Do not join the Discord ever. Do not join it. But I love you. I love you. I love you.